in Germany, people are saying two different things, right? One of them, they want EVs. Number two, they're not so keen on plug-in hybrids. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Hope you've had an amazing day. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Big thank you for supporting the channel this year, and especially to those of you who have supported us on Patreon. I'll put a link in the description below to our Patreon page, and if you can support us, that would be fantastic. New passenger car registrations in Germany decreased in May by 10.2%, year over year, to 207,000, which... To be honest, it's kind of expected considering what's going on in the market right now. However, the rate of decline has been gradually slowing. Last month, 52,400 passenger plug-in electric cars were registered in Germany, which is down 3% year over year. But actually, there's an interesting thing going on. Market share of plug-in cars has increased to 25.3%. In fact, it's 25.3%. That means more than one in every four cars is electric in Germany. However, there's an interesting trend going on here, right? All electric car sales increased in May by 9%. But plug-in hybrids, yeah, they're losing popularity quickly. Now, as you know, Toyota and Honda and other Japanese automakers claim that uh, people are going to want plug-in hybrids in 2040. Seriously, that's what they're still saying. They're clearly completely ignoring trends in China and Europe. Electric vehicles, 29,192,000 were delivered. A lot more than that was sold though. That's up 9% for 14.1% market share in Germany. Plug-in hybrids, 23,209. That's down 15% for an 11% market share. Now, the same month last year, right, plug-in hybrids were beating fully electric cars. Now, the tables have completely turned. Total plug-in vehicles, 52,391, down 3% for a 25.3% market share. Why is it down 3%? Simply because plug-in hybrids have massively decreased market share. People don't want them anymore. They want to just wait for an electric car wise decision in my view. Personally, I'm optimistic that over the next few months, Volkswagen and Tesla are going to come together. Well, not come together necessarily in that way, but you know, come together in terms of delivering more electric cars. Apparently, both of them are massively vehicle constrained in Germany in particular, but also all across Europe. Hopefully, Tesla's Gigafactory in Berlin continues to ramp up production and Volkswagen apparently are on track to start delivering a lot more electric cars over the rest of this year in Germany. So are the Chinese who are moving in quickly. So far this year, Inside EV says that more than 247,000 passenger plug-in cars have been registered in Germany. Electric vehicles up 17% for a 13.4% market share. Plug-in hybrids down 15% for an 11% market share. So this means that so far this year, around 25% of all cars delivered in Germany have been electric. But as you can see, right? People, they just don't want plug-in hybrids. Toyota, yeah. Are you listening? No, you're not. But anyway. Who are the top brands? Well, according to official data, Volkswagen noted the highest number of new plug-in electric car registrations. This does include plug-in hybrids, though. They were ahead of BMW, Audi, and Mercedes-Benz. So what were the top models in Germany last month? Well, first place was the Tesla Model 3. So year-to-date, what were the top electric vehicle models. Well, as you would expect, Tesla Model 3 is still the reigning king in spite of the fact that uh, they've delivered very few of them over the last couple of months because of all these challenges going on in China. Tesla Model 3, 10,000 deliveries so far this year in Germany. Fiat 500 electric, surprisingly, was in second place with 8,300. Hyundai Kona Electric, 6,345. Volkswagen ID4 and ID5, 5,600. Tesla Model Y in fifth place with 5,314. I would expect the Tesla Model Y to probably jump up the first place with the Tesla Model 3 coming in second place by the end of this year. Then you've got the BMW i3, Opel Corsa e, Renault Zoe, Skoda Enyaq, Smart for two, Audi e-tron, Volkswagen ID3, very disappointing the ID3. 
its sales are so low, 4,464. And then the Hyundai Ionic 5 with 4,107. The main point here, right, is consumers clearly do not want plug-in hybrids. It doesn't matter how hard you try and shove them down people's throats. Really, people want the newest product, the one that's going to give them the best resale, the one that's going to give them the best user experience. That's an electric car. Driving an electric car while lugging around an engine needlessly, it doesn't make a lot of sense in my view. But let me know if you agree or you disagree. I believe by the end of this year, 40% of all vehicles sold in Germany will be plug-in of some type, with the majority of those being fully electric. By the end of next year, we're going to be looking at more like 60%. By the end of 2026, well, it'll pretty much be over in Germany. And I believe at least 90% of all vehicles in Germany in 2026 will be fully electric. And that's my prediction. I want to know your prediction. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. As always, have a great day. Bye-bye.